Hey there, it's Sandra D. And our, our video this morning was supposed to take place in my studio. As you can see, I'm not in my studio. I am um, I'm in my car. And the reason for that is that I've had a couple of extra appointments thrown at me today and I still wanted to connect with you. So you're sitting in my car with me on the side of the road on my way to my next appointment. And what we're talking about in the last couple of weeks has been fear and many different forms that that can take that will keep you from reaching the next level in your business, in your life, and, and basically in the usage of visual media in order to get you to those levels that you want to be. So um, no perfect example than what I'm going through today because as some of you ask, are you still are you still acting? Yes, I am. I have an audition today that's actually kind of a bigger one and it has me a little scared, but that's good because I feel like it's keeping me on my toes and you never know what can happen. So I talk to people about having a year of yes and I've been speaking about that lately. And what, what I mean by that is allow this year to be the year that you say yes to any opportunity that may look like it's in alignment with where you want to go. You don't have to know where it's going to, where it's going to go or how it's going to get you there, but just say yes to meeting people, to, to getting in front of different groups. And if it works out, fantastic. You may never understand how many people you can meet, how many opportunities can come from a year of saying yes. Of course, you have to qualify once you start heading down a different road and, and constantly look and go, is this really good for me? Is this where I want to be with my life? Is this the direction that I want to go? But by saying yes, I got to tell you, I had a couple of years where I did that and I'm still today, in fact, a lot of my meetings today and the people that I'm going to be spending my time with are amazing individuals that I met just because I had a year where I just said yes. So I got, you know, I, I've become pretty good at getting over the fear of meeting new people. Believe me, that was actually a challenge for me. That's one of the reasons why speaking on camera and quote unquote being myself and being conversational was so challenging for me personally for all of those years in the beginning. So if any of you are going through that kind of fear, trust me, saying a year, giving yourself a year of yes will actually help you get over a lot of that. And I'm so grateful that I did that. Now, the other element of getting over fear, a lot of times people will look at themselves on camera and be really uncomfortable with it. My suggestion is, and this is really simple, it's not that profound, watch yourself again and again and again and again because the more time that you spend watching yourself and seeing your characteristics the more you're going to get away from that self-critical thought process that goes on. We're not used to seeing ourselves in moving form. Okay, we're not. We look into a mirror and think that that's the way we look. So even if you have experience and you just choose to not watch yourself, I want to encourage you, if you want to reach the next level, forget about that fear of watching yourself. Just do it. Just do it. And you'll get to the point. It helps, of course, if you have somebody coaching you along and being your cheerleader. But you'll get to the point where you'll actually start to enjoy how you look and start to give yourself credit for how accurate you're actually starting to get that message. And that's when you can reach that next level. Until next time, look for me at CharismaOnCamera.com. Bye.